Hello, hello. How would you feel if you could change the font size of the clients when you show in Commvault? How would you feel about that? Let me show you how that works. So you're going, you're going to go control panel. You're going to go to user preference. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I just did this. What am I telling you? Anyway, so the font size is where you change. When you do that, like let's say I change it, right? I need to restart the Commvault Com services when that when I do that. So I changed it to 15 because it's easier to look at basically, right? And eventually, you know, Commvault will maybe get even more. But 15, yeah, I, th I think they're going to change it to a higher size, uh, you know, 15, 20, 25, something like that. Can you see yourself working in Commvault? You out there who's watching this video, can you see yourself watching, you know, working in a Commvault environment? It's not, um, it's not easy, but it's not hard. It's kind of rewarding, really. But if you if you tell yourself you can do it, if you if you see yourself, if you say to yourself, "Yeah, I can do this," and you see yourself having this job in Commvault, then uh, this is something for you. Yeah, it's fun. You know, just looking at the same thing. I had to. I would like to learn myself personally. Like, what what do I want to learn? about Commvault, right? Or what do I want to learn, basically? Mm. Maybe maybe how to do it faster. How to do tasks faster, probably. I say to myself, you know, just imagine, just imagine, I say to myself, just imagine when what it's going to be like when I'm more efficient in Commvault. And the the amount of time I can save during the Commvault workday. How would you feel if you could save time basically in Commvault and by doing reports? So let me show you how to set that up. Under reports, job summary reports. Now this will help you save time every day. You don't have to look at everything. So how would you feel about that? Click on job summary. Click on calendar, computer, and then all the computers, and then time ranged. Let's say three days, seven days, five days, or whatever. If you look at it every day, it's fine. You can put in three days, two days, whatever. And then, you know, if you want to schedule it, you can click on schedule. So what do you like about this? What do you, you yourself, you see this, this schedule, you ask yourself, what do you like about it, right? So you put in the schedule name, port, uh, notification, you're going to put it in who you're going to notify, and, uh, and then you push uh, schedule, and then it shows up under, view schedule is going to be in there. I'm going to just click on run. There's probably no jobs run. There's probably no jobs going to show up. Yeah. Yeah, there's no jobs that showed up. So, but anyway, if you got a bunch of, if you got a bunch of clients, now I'm going to do this. I'm going to have a bunch of clients here so you can see it. But you're going to see a bunch of clients and you see like last three days, it'll be like a different color, like green or whatever, if it worked. And like green, green if it worked, yellow if it like, System state failed or VSS or whatever failed or complete with error or something like that. And then pink if like it failed, like job failed or whatever. And then blue if the job is still in progress. Now that's it's kind of top, right? It's top. Now if you got like um, secondary copy, so like something like a cloud. You know, offsite cloud or maybe an offsite where storage policy, then this would apply here. You're either going to be um, copied or not copied or 
some of the jobs failed in the report. Yeah, so these are kind of cool stuff, actually, with Commvault. This is, uh, this is Commvault, friends. So have you got around to make a decision on your future, on what you're going to do with your career? Have you made a decision? Have you got around to making a decision on what you want to do in the future? about your job search and how you're going to create wealth. Convolt your tool and to learn and get a better job. Yeah, there's one thing that you probably don't know about this job, Convolt and all this stuff. You could... You, you know, you're a backup admin, backup engineer, whatever your title is, storage admin, whatever, sysadmin, let's say, right? When you have to do restore customer calls up or you get a request in to restore file, restore server, whatever it is, you got to kind of do it. You got to be, uh, they, they don't really accept, oh, hey, sorry, it's, it's Friday, um, you know, it's Saturday, it's Sunday, um, you know, it's after 6 p.m. They don't care. Whoever you work for doesn't care. You know, they're going to compensate you for your, your time, right? But typically, typically, if you're like one of those roles, you're working, you're kind of, kind of expected that you're on call. And like a company gives you tools, like say you're, you're work now if you're in an office and you can't get in the office, then that restore is going to have to wait the next day, right? So whatever. You know, like if they only allow, you know, if you're like working from in office where you don't take your laptop home or something, yeah, that that's gonna that'll be wait, that'll wait another day. But if you're working from home completely, yeah, definitely you're going to expect to work a lot of hours. And but there's some days you don't, right? There's some days you don't work a lot of hours either, so it's really up to you. But having like a having a, a method that helps you out, like reports, use reports to your advantage. Yeah, you know, um, I think I've told you right in the in my ComServe, I have a ComServe that's kind of beefy, and I got a couple more servers, and you know, I'm gonna be creating more videos, more content here. So, you know, in the comments, just put suggestions down that uh, I can do it because I can, you know, I got a pretty beefy server now, so I think I can uh, start hit, you know, get, you know, getting some heavy duty stuff, you know, start talking like Oracle, talking SQL, talking that type of thing. Um, so what I'm planning on doing, right, let me show you. It's control panel, new client, let's see. Here's what I'm trying to, like, plan it, planning on creating a couple, like, content videos about and let's go down the start so let's see i'll probably create a video on cassandra because there's a guy that um, asked me about it like hey uh, cassandra i'll probably do that i'll definitely do a windows and news cluster um i'll definitely do a what else What else? Uh, v. I will do V Center. I'll do Hyper V, of course. Right. Very similar. I'll do a video on. Yeah, that's it, right? Actually, and then Windows, of course. I'll do a video on that. Unix. I'll do a video on. Um, Udap. Probably do a video on that. Oracle's not this the Oracle in here anywhere? I don't think I saw Oracle in here. Oracle, where's Oracle at? Oracle and let's see virtualization. That's weird. I don't see it, but yeah, I'll do a video on SQL and Oracle. So we can hash it out. 
figure out how it works. I'm pretty much low energy today. I don't know why. Kind of just... You know, the thing with combo, right? It's not really a... Like a Cisco, you know, like, oh my God, Cisco, it's so cool. You know, we can do Cisco and networking and all that stuff. It's just pretty much just it's a backup tool, right? Backup and recovery. Pretty much that's it. It's pretty much it. Hey, back up my data. Hey, restore my data. Oh, thank you. Done. Okay, whatever. Yeah, fine, good. Now, the benefit you get, or I get, or anybody who gets is we get to touch other different environments. So we get to, like, at least I do anyway. It's kind of like I, I, I get invited to some of the meetings that are, I haven't recently, actually. I really, really, I haven't actually been invited to a lot of meetings. But in the past, other companies I worked for, I would be invited to the meetings like the like to be have a network person or whatever in there and they would ask about backups and how it relates to networking. So I'd kind of answer that question and storage. Sometimes they like to combine the storage people with the windows people. No storage with the backup people. And you know, the bigger the company, the bigger the company is, they pretty much don't do that because they can't afford to do that. But if it's a small company, they'll do that. You know, I've seen jobs to where they call out and they say, oh, well, you're a sysadmin. Well, hey, guess what? You're also the, we also want you to know Commvault and we want you to know a little bit of storage and backup. Hey, I'm just a sysadmin. You know, no, definitely not. That's, uh, but depending on the company, if you need a job, you need a job, man, whatever. So do it. Whatever you need to do to make the money, do it with uh, with Commvault. So, um, I think I'm going to show you one more thing before I wrap this video up. So let's end, let's just end the video now, uh, and then I'll talk to you another day. Thanks, everybody, for uh, watching this through and through. And if you want to know more Commvault, let me put up the link to my course so that you can get more knowledge and all that stuff on Commvault. So these are two good, good courses I have on Udemy. Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault. Get a I paying job and in here I teach you like Windows Server Linux Oracle Commvault VMware Amazon AWS uh, and a couple different things so if you want to go a little you don't want to take the video or the course that's really long just take this course here this is um this is one that's uh let's see here yeah this is real quick and real easy one hour you get to learn AWS, set up a um, course in AWS, set up a Commvault in AWS. Yeah, thanks a lot.